what is up guys so today I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna clean my PC so this is just a quick video on how to clean your PC if you have a custom built PC well not just a custom built PC but any type of PC um, that needs cleaning I mean everything in this world need, needs cleaning so today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna clean my PC this is the first time I'm gonna do a big cleaning on it because I have it less than six months now but the other day I realized that it was really dusty I mean things get dusty real fast um, even if it's a water cooling PC I mean water cooling PC won't be that dirty because no fans are sucking in the the, the dust but this one really is really dusty at the moment well not that bad but you can see it's gonna get worse so today I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna clean my PC so just stay tuned and make sure you give this video a thumbs up let me know if you want more videos like this about PC um, if you guys want to know how I build my PC or uh, what are the parts and stuff like that just let me know in the comment section and I'll definitely make a video about it or just reply to you guys so make sure you do that so let's get cleaning right now guys so guys this is just my PC before it is being clean but you can you guys gonna see that it is really dirty I mean from this distance I don't think you guys will be seeing the dirt but trust me it is really dirty right now so I'm just gonna give it a clean give you guys a closer look at the dirt at first so I can show you guys that cleaning the PC really helps so let's just show you guys <laughs> What you guys just saw just now is just some b-roll of the pc before it was clean but now i'm gonna take off the panels to show you that it is actually dirty so let's just take off the panels it is dirty especially the front panel is extremely dirty just me so i'm gonna speed this up and take off the panels and then show you so also guys this is real glass right here it's not plastic so i have to be extremely careful it's glass i went with the glass because i wanted to see inside of the pc i mean it's not the prettiest pc but you can see what i was going for so let, let's take off the glass <laughs> screws are off now to reveal the dirt I mean the camera don't do that much justice but you can see especially for this fan right here you can see that it is totally covered in dust look at that I mean just look at that just pure dust right there so you guys see what I am saying and you can get you guys can see where this is gonna be in the future that it's gonna get real dusty and nasty if I don't clean it from now so that's a very good advice is to just clean your PC from now so it just don't get all that dirty and be all that nasty when you're ready to clean it so as you guys can also see the panels is also dirty I mean you can you guys can't really see but it is dirty but yep I'm just gonna clean it right now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you inside with it running and you guys can hear some PC noise I don't know if that's something you guys are into but you guys gonna hear some PC noise right about now so here we are we are inside of the PC while it is running 
I'm getting really close to the fan right now which is kind of risky with my camera but you guys can see inside it's pretty new but it's gonna get dirty and that's what I'm afraid of for it to get real dirty and nasty that I don't want to clean it or it's hard to clean but you guys can see a pretty close up of what's going on inside under here I'm, I'm so vexed that the fans are actually hiding under here because I love how the or the fans on the graphics card look but they're hiding I don't know if you guys can see it under there but trust me they're hiding and they're pretty cool even though the light on the side is pretty cool also but I wanted it to show and I'm also running the AMD right there as you guys can see and it's RGB as you guys can see it's synced but the fans are not synced the fans are just some cheap fans that I got that light up but with that said I'm gonna start cleaning right now guys so yep <laughs> So I'm just gonna take a paper towel. I mean you guys can use some fancy dusting cloth or whatever But I'm just gonna use a paper towel and just simply just wipe Wipe the vents But what I what I want to advise you to do before you start wiping is actually shut down your PC So go ahead and just shut down your PC Before you start cleaning because you don't want to work and any machine when there's moving parts inside or it is on so you make sure you want to shut down completely wait for everything to shut down I'm just gonna force shut it and wait for it to shut down and then you just want to hit that switch on the back of your machine to make sure the power is completely off so now the power is completely off you can see everything is dead and you're just gonna clean in between the creases as you guys can see I'm doing you guys can see this the dust is really nasty but I'm gonna clean it and when I'm done I'm gonna show you guys the results so I'll be back so I'm, I'm here cleaning for a while with this paper towel and I realized that this is just going too slow for me so I'm just gonna use a vacuum but before you use the vacuum guys please make sure that there's nothing that can be sucked up in the vacuum from your PC so just make sure that there's no parts inside of your machine that is not working fully and all those stuff so I'm gonna be right back alright guys so you see quick and fast with the vacuum um if i was still using the paper towel maybe i wouldn't be finished as yet but you guys can see that the vacuum did a pretty good job um i think it did a good job because as i said it is at its early stage i didn't let the dust stick or anything so i would advise you guys to clean it as soon as you see dust start to accumulate don't wait until a year or so pass because i haven't had this machine for six months as yet as i said and I just want to keep it clean and try to get the best use out of it before it's it's ready to retire but yep I'm gonna do inside now so let's get in there All right, so for inside guys you want to be extremely cautious when you're using the vacuum inside because all those small stuff on your motherboard can easily well get this get st stuck in the vacuum and once you remove it from the motherboard it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get back on the motherboard if not impossible to get back on the motherboard but you just want to be extremely cautious when you're doing this right now i'm gonna use a vacuum extremely cautious I'm, i don't think i'm gonna use it on the motherboard at all I'm just gonna like use it in those little crease like around the fan maybe I put it put it close to the to the to the graphics card and all those stuff and down here and here um also guys you guys can see I put some stickers here I'm not really a fan of Apple but I got I, I sold a Apple Apple phone cause you know Ursula. so I sold an Apple phone and I just took the stickers and I say you know what I'm just gonna start a sticker collection on the side right here so you have T force which is my memory you have Ryzen which is my processor you have 
this which is a motherboard that i got but i sent it back because it wasn't working and you have the apple logo in the future you might be see a tesla logo and so on and so on but with that said just start to clean inside right now guys guys there's a little problem and the problem is the vacuum that I'm using it is too big for these small creases because as you guys can see there there's a little bit of dust in my processor right there my processor fan and my vacuum can't reach it I'm guessing they build vacuums that small to reach it so I'm gonna go back to my paper towel and just do those small creases and on the fan blades also you can see it's kind of a little dirty um yeah so there's some small spot that you know the vacuum can't reach so i'm just gonna reach it with it you guys can see like spots like there is pretty dirty and spots like there is dirty my fans are dirty so i'm just gonna use a paper towel where the vacuum can't reach so yep and also you guys can see down there is my 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 hard drive but i'm not gonna do that much detail because then i have to pull the back and on then all the back is where the wires are hiding and i don't think i did such of a good wire management around there so i'm not gonna do that today so maybe the next year or two or so but i don't think i want to pull around there unless i'm adding a ssd or something um to my drive or something so yep i'm just gonna use the paper towel back guys here it is guys done and dusted but after doing this my first cleaning like this i'm kind of considering to get water cooling installed i mean if i'm gonna do that i have to maybe like tear down this whole whole setup and probably get a new case and all those stuff and buy some water cooling equipment but after doing this it's pretty tedious and I don't want to damage my PC cleaning it and I don't want my PC to get damaged not cleaning it and I hate dust dust come by so fast because I can bet by next week it's gonna be dusty again so I'm thinking about to get the water cooling because trust me it's not that fun to clean dust especially in small spaces like this so i know the water cooling will not get rid of the dust completely but at least it will minimize the dust as possible because there won't be any fan or that much fan going in the pc and that much vent because it will be all liquid cool so as you guys can see it's not fully dusted but i did my best you guys can see this is my fans at the top i wonder what we're looking behind here can't really see hopefully it's clean around there can't really see as I said it's pretty tight around here so can't really see around there that much but yep so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a power on right now to see if it works so first hit that switch then hit this button right here and it should come on here we go nice so everything is up and running guys just like that and we're back up and running that light is on that light is on and that light is on that light is on that light is on and that light is on so i'm gonna give you guys a pretty cool b-roll right now because it's looking pretty on my camera hopefully it's looking pretty on your guys screen also so i'm gonna give you guys a b-roll and a summary to end the video so stay tuned <laughs> 